Stephen, can you outline the club response to the recent incident that has been documented in the media? Well, I think first and foremost we have to acknowledge that five of our players have, uh, you know, been involved in a breach of the COVID regulations, which from the top of the club to the bottom we're all really disappointed in. Um, that will be dealt with internally. Uh, the players will be fined, and um, we are in dialogue with the SFA and the government moving forward to, to find the, the, the solution in terms of them boys. Um, they've been removed from the club and the squad for now um, on a short time basis while they isolate and um, I'll sit down with all them boys face to face once yeah, we're allowed to do so. Do you feel the situation is now resolved to a satisfactory conclusion? Well, we'll certainly move forward from it. Um, I think we're at a real critical stage uh, in terms of the games coming up and where we are uh, as a club. Um, it won't affect uh, us as a group. Um, I've been absolutely delighted with the group uh, in terms of their application. Uh, I feel personally let down by recent events, um, but I'm trying to move forward and focus on the important things, which is uh, to prepare the team ready for a huge game against Antwerp. I'm really excited and looking forward to the game. So the players, they've trained extremely well. Um, going into this game, and it's important we we focus on the important things, which is, um, you know, the games that are in front of us. Are you able to confirm the, the five players involved? Yes, uh, Bagani Zongu, Zungu is involved. Um, Nathan Patterson, Calvin Bassey, uh, Dapo, um, who is obviously part of the academy uh, on loan at Queen of the South at the moment, and a young goalie who. Is an academy player, but has spent some time around the first team as well, Brian Kinnear. It's on to Antwerp then, as you say. How have the boys prepared for that fixture? Really well. Um, the atmosphere in the group is um, outstanding at the moment, um, playing with belief and confidence. It's a fixture that we respect because of the opposition. They're doing really well in their league domestically. They've had some really impressive results themselves this season, so um, it's an exciting one, and it will be over the two legs. And um, you know, it's one we're really looking forward to. The boys are excited and we want to bounce over to Belgium and um, give a real good account of ourselves and, and make the supporters proud um, because we, we've let them down in the, in the last few days. And, um, you know, we want to get them thinking about football again and um, hopefully we can reward them with a positive result and set Ibrox up for next week. And on that game, how is the, the health of the squad going into it? Well, obviously the boys mentioned um, won't be involved. Um, We've got some real good news in terms of obviously having Alfredo and Kamar back available. Uh, bring a lot of firepower to the squad and the group. Really looking forward to having them back for this fixture. Um, and, you know, we've seen recent rumours that James is carrying a niggle, which is fake news. There's, there's nothing in that one.